It's among the several potential budget-breaking expenses the city will have to manage after 75 miles per hour straight line winds hit several areas of the town April 3, using much of the harm concentrated in northwest Decatur. While the town is part owner of the landfill, it has different funding sources and cannot waive fees for your town. The town, Terry said, already has paid approximately $24,000 in storm-related tipping fees, and he estimates it finally will pay more than $70,000 to dispose of debris in the storm. Bowling said a representative of the Small Business Administration participated in an ongoing damage assessment Saturday and that he expects that visit to free up low-interest loans for businesses and possibly individuals affected by the storm. He said he's also pursuing any available grants for low-income individuals hardest hit by the storm. There's a mechanism in place with Morgan County Emergency Management Agency and voluntary organizations active in disaster, to ensure that any monies we receive, be it from private donations or whatever, are properly managed, so there are checks and balances in place to make sure the money is going to the right area, for the material costs and labor in making repairs, Bowling said.